Hello, welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordic. I'm just going to spend a few minutes talking about the update of the SignalView PC version 3.9 and some of the new features. When you download a software from us, please re read the release notes because the release notes can give you some indication what's new with the product. In this case, I'm going to go through this very, very quick and simple. So, first of all, we have a command search here directly. So people that want a special command to control the unit of Sigma View PC can easily do that by the Pi command. Second thing I like a lot is this looks like a video camera, but that is actually a recording control panel button now. And here you can press it, you press record, and here it will tell you the file size and available disk space. You can record now or you can record on trigger. These are the things I really you know, like. Third one uh, on this one, this is a 500 I'm using here. Uh, those of you who have the 300 won't see that, but also I have this GNS status uh, locked. And if you go for the GPS here, in the acquisition uh, control menu under frequency reference, you can use this tracking. There's a high tracking, you can use or set this one. You can use that. That means that the absolute frequency measurement is much, much better. Instead of 1 ppm, it's 0 0.025 ppm. The other thing I've seen here is that you can cross here, unhide, unpurchased measurement. I don't have any. I know there's one over here, like face noise. I cannot do with this one. If I unhide it, go back, it's gone. So you can actually look on the ones you purchased and the ones you haven't purchased. Uh, I think that's about it. So let me look at one of the things that's new. So for the post RF, there's two tabs, or actually three tabs, which is new. So we used to do the post statistics just single shot, but now we can just run. And for this simple demo, how it works, I would look at the uh, Bluetooth. So let's go to Bluetooth. It's around 2.44. And we go here, we go this one, you know. Okay, we have this one on the control, I will set the ref level down a little bit. And we will then, I will do this one and move away, so we have just the Bluetooth. Okay, so I have Bluetooth here. I go to view, I use the navigator view, some people call it zero span here. I will go for the trigger and I will do a trigger level, I will just go down a little bit. Uh, minus six. Oh, maybe I should put it at the trigger as well. So, a little bit lower and you will see the blue screen. Oops. Errors. So we have something here, and also they, you know, should be like uh, 500 microseconds. Uh, let me see. Error trigger minus 46 is probably low. We'll go up again. So we have uh, like this, and then of course on this one I have a preamp, and I just turn the preamp on, and you see exactly what happens. So with preamp without preamp. Okay, so we have the pulses here. Next thing I will go is to go in here and go for the pulsed RF and just look at it. So we have a histogram here and we look at the average on power. You can see it's just accumulating. So we have 30 pulses right now. Did tweak the trigger a little bit. I had it like this. This is better and you can see how many pulses we have. So the way we can look at this is a histogram and from standard is 100 bins. You can look at average on power, peak power for example, if there's difference in peak or you can look at width of the pulses. You can clear this one out and you can see that you know, it seems to be a very short pulse at the beginning from time to time and long. You will see this, it will be kind of funny. Other thing you can add to this one for the pulse is also uh, statistics. The statistics you do the same setup. So in this case we have total pulses, average of 46, repetition interval, etc. And the last one here uh, I would not spend too much time on. It's the uh, pulsogram. It's when we do fast frame, when you actually capture only part of the uh, part of the acquisition, but do that many times. So we have a uh, about 10,000 pulses without without the dead time between the pulses. That's very useful. When I just run it here, you will see it looks like a, a mix between a, a time overview and spectrum. That's basically it. This is it, and this is it down here.
but if you have multiple this will be a kind of a waterfall I hope you enjoy this very short update on the 3.9 I don't think there's anything I missed here um, so we have the frequency reference we have it's much faster the modulation and we have the new added pulsogram capabilities to looking at pulses and I think that's that's probably it thank you very much